It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. Yo, what's good, homies? It's your boy Steven coming at you guys with a Odd Eyes Magician deck profile that I promise you guys. I'm going to be showing you guys the whole profile in depth as well as a whole match afterwards where I beat the mirror match. It was a great duel. And all right, before we get started onto the onto the video, guys, your boy got a Patreon. So if you want to support your boy, I'll highly appreciate it. Link in, in the description below. I got some awesome rewards for you guys. Uh, anything's appreciated. Thank you guys. And lastly, a shout out to my boy, Jacobo. This guy's my graphic designer. He makes all my sick thumbnails for free because uh, he's my boy, supports the channel. He's my dog. Check him out. Uh, follow his Instagram. And let's get right to the video. So to start, we got three wisdom mine. That's a no brainer. The greatest pendulum in history. Well, after Kieran at the moment. And then we got the whole magician. We got three O's because you need three O's, man. Uh, it's a uh, pseudo 456 Wisdom Mine. Uh, just unbelievably broken, especially in the Odd Eyes deck because you can also add Odd Eyes cards and it's super clutch. And then we got uh, just pretty much maxing out on all the good magicians right now. We got one janky because harmonizing will let you make a vortex. Uh, time Gazer, obvious. Then we play a Time Breaker because Time Breaker is uh, underrated as well. It's good going second card. And then a lot of times you have to use up the Time Gazer with Chronograph. So, harmonizing, bring out Time Breaker, you go into FA Dragster. So, just another way to do another negate. This whole deck consistently makes four negates every single turn. I mean, like, it's literally, the board is as good as my four negate Adderall deck last format with Astrograph. And it's every turn. It doesn't break. Like, you, you, I put 60 cards. They'll see some people see 60 cards, they'll think, bro, what's a 60 card shenanigan garbage? But not. Nah, you play 60 cards because uh, it's... It's an un okay. I want you guys to understand this this idea here. It's a revolution, a sixty card revolution here. I'm gonna change the game. I will always play sixty cards moving forward. Well, for jokes, because people think it's forty cards are for consistency, but in a pendulum deck, what sixty cards does is it expands the deck. You're not gonna in a forty card deck. There's a high chance of drawing four low scales and like a spell card. In a sixty card deck, you have so many different scales: low, high, middle. That it's so expanded out that you're never going to only draw low scales or you're never only going to draw high scales. It's a very difficult idea that the average man might not think of, but just really think hard about that. All the scales are spread out. So you're not only drawing high scales. You're not only drawing low scales. These spell cards search pendulums or draw. You're literally playing 60 pendulum cards or cards that drop, add or, or draw or add pendulums. It's unbelievably consistent and every turn looks the same. It's four negates. If I get interrupted, I put up 2 plus easily. Like I'll show you guys in the match. Like more than 2. I get in, I got interrupted through... I got ogred before. I put up 4 negates. But it'll, later in the game, you'll see they ogre me and I had a bad hand. So through a bad hand and ogre, I still put up 2 real negates. Like Vortex, Jackal, real negates. Even through ogre with a bad hand. And it's really underrated. But anyways, deck doesn't break. Uh, we got 3 Corona just for the turbo. 3 Hamster, turbo. 3 Cerberus, turbo. And I'm on this new idea as well where Jackal... And Persona Dragon are extremely underrated. Why? Because they're one card monster negates. Like, why do you need to go into your extra deck? They're underrated because they are uh, pendulum monsters. If you had a card that said negate, like if you had a Macabre in the main deck that you could literally bring out anytime you want and it's searchable in your whole deck, why on earth would you not play it? So Persona and Jackal are key. If you put up two of those as well as a spell and trap negate, uh, those three interruptions are already enough for auto win. Like, no one can beat that. You use a spell or trap interruption like Vortex or Dragster or Naruto to stop the evenly or Regeki, and use a monster negates to actually stop your opponent from playing. So the whole point of the deck is put up four interruptions. So it's uh, two negates, two monster negates, one spell trap negate, and one firewall. That's all the time. And next, Odd-Eyes Arc Pendulum. Uh, it's literally a pseudo turbo card because if you open two of the twelve uh, Odd-Eyes cards you play with the three Pendulum, th uh, three Pendulum Dragon, three Persona Dragon, three Iris, three Terraforming, open two of those twelve. And you have uh, pop the pop the other odd eyes and then the pendulum uh, odd eyes arc pendulum will special another. So it's a pseudo turbo card. Three curtain razor, more turbo cards. Three wild hope, more turbo cards. It's a pseudo turbo card. You play six ways to go into. You play six ways to go into sky iris. So you pop it and get curtain razor, and then it's another free turbo card. And having uh, wild hope is very important because you, uh, a lot of times what you send with Electrum and near especially near the end, where if you open good. 
a lot of things you summon Electrum is irrelevant. So having three Wild Hopes uh, allows you to send one with Electrum, add it with Electrum, pop with another Electrum, and you get a free plus one. And it comes up a lot. Highly recommend it for any duck playing Odd Eyes because you open Iris and that is a Turbo card plus another plus. Three Pen Call, three Alliance because Pen Call is broken without without Astrogar from the deck since its band is broken. Because who cares that you can't use Electrum on Magicians anymore? You can't add them anymore. You don't, uh, it doesn't matter because you weren't going to do that anyways. So it's amazing to ensure that you get a free plus off Oath and a free plus off Harmonizing Summon. Alliance also searches Pen Call and Pendulum Dragon in the deck. Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon and both are very vital. Uh, we got obviously the three Iris. Uh, obviously, uh, don't forget, if you open two of the Iris, you could use one, the Iris actual effect. And then if you open two of them, just pop it with Electrum. Because you can't activate two, but you can't... So you can't use the effect of two Irises in one turn, but you could activate two. Uh, they're very amazing in the deck. And then three Allures because the whole deck is dark. And then three Desires. Desires is so good because most turns end on, on 60 card deck. Open one Desires, you're going to end up with two. Because... You use it first at six cards. It's irrelevant what you banish. Completely irrelevant because you're playing 60 cards. And you're not searching cards anymore with Astrograph. So Desire is just broken now. And then most combos end with a Griffin. So you just discard something and set the Desires. And since you're playing 60 cards, who cares if you resolve Desires twice? One duel, I could have Desired three times. I had a third Desires in my hand uh, for later, but he just scooped. But it's okay to activate more than one Desires in a duel. Especially if you play 60 cards. So, there's another bonus of 60 cards. Uh, especially because if you open Desires, you always end up with two. Because Griffin will just set it back for free. That's the main deck. I love it. I took out the OCG Revolution Dragon. But all it does is just add the more uh, consistency for the deck with Sky Iris. So, it's not 100% necessary. But it just helps with consistency. But it's not needed for any of the combos. And then the side deck. Three Sphere Mode, three Lava Golem. You do that on the U and you win. Because you don't normal summon. Three Evenly because. Reboot because of Anti-Spell. And then one Secret Village. Uh, just for any deck to play spells and like your whole deck's magician, you play three terraforming to get it. Uh, Necro Valley also because three terraforming, just in case, why not? And then one Gaga Cowboy because the new time rules are dumb. And then three Electro, Metatron, Firewall, Nightmare Goblin, Underclock. You need Underclock for the Vortex play just to ensure that if you have two level sevens on board uh, and some other random, like a harm, if you summon a Harmonizing and a Pendulum Dragon, uh, you could just uh, go into Absolute with a Janky and that. Uh, go into Underclock and you get a Vortex. Uh, you got Nightmare Griffin, Necessary, Time Star, Necessary, Tornado, and Dweller. Or actually, Time Star, not that Necessary. It was Necessary before, but not really now. I, you could take it off for whatever you want, uh, but I just like it. Tornado, Dweller, Naruto, Absolute Vortex, and Dragster, all Necessary. That's the deck. Uh, in, uh, it's amazing. Don't change anything. Play 60 cards. Trust me, it's a new revolution of 60 card Pendulums. Uh, it's just such a big toolbox for Electrum decks. It's amazing. So we're going to go straight into the match. Enjoy. All right, now is duel time. Uh, I already posted another video of combos of the Odd-Eyes Magician deck, and trust me, guys, I know it. I know it, sixty cards it seems weird, but it has sixty. It's not necessary, but it's amazing. Sixty cards is huge, absolutely amazing. I love it. I really think everyone should play sixty for pendulums, and it seems weird at first, but trust me, eventually you'll love it. Because uh, the sides you can use forever, and you never draw uh, awkward scales. It's always like. You always draw low or high. Anyways, so over here we got Ogre. The Electrum gets Ogre, and that's fine. Uh, obviously, if you look at our hand, we can't make a second Electrum, which does suck, but we still have a few interruptions on board with where they have five cards in hand. Two real negates is always enough for victory. That's what a lot of people don't think, but we use the Pen Call and Desires. Uh, we Pen Call Desires away to bring two Magicians to hand. And just remember, guys, like if they hand trap you, they... they Hand traps suck, man. If they hand trap you, they're minus one card in their hand, which means you only got to deal with five cards. Out of those five cards, if they play hand traps, that means their deck uh, it can play hand traps, which means not a, a super, super, super combo deck, which means they're bound to draw more cards that are irrelevant for their combo. So two negates is more than enough to win you the duel. We're going to go Vortex Jackal. That's more than enough. Jackal's going to negate the monster effect, and Vortex is going to negate any spell or trap they do. And if they literally have no spell or trap, just use Vortex for monster effect too. They actually can't do anything, and it's extremely underrated having two real negates on board. Everyone's spoiled with Nightmare U stuff where it's not like they have real negates other than Trigate, but everyone's spoiled with my four or five negate boards I did last format and this format, but none of that's needed. You actually only need two negates, and you'll win. Jackal stops the Dark Worm. Now they can't do anything. He completely just scoops because he can't do anything. Like, 
uh, you literally, you no more electrums. You're going to append two monsters. I negate it. It's just done. You actually can't do anything. Now, this game is insane. This game, this guy puts up a, a, a three interruption board. And no spoilers. You guys will see what happens. But this was an amazing game. So, this guy, Desire. Desire is just so good in the deck now, man. It's actually amazing in the deck. Because who cares if you banish stuff? Before, it sucked because you'll banish the stuff you add with Astrograph. That's why it sucked. But now, there's no Astrograph. So, Desire is just amazing. Especially because you're just banishing pendulums that aren't even in your hand anyway. So it doesn't actually matter. And you play three of everything. So who cares what you banish? Now, he just simply does a combo. He's sticking to the game plan here. Two, three electrums. Goes into a Metaltron. And he's going to eventually summon a bunch of stuff out. And that's what it is. It's You make a few electrons. Put up a few negates. He doesn't play Firewall. Otherwise, he could have had a, an even better board. And I told him here, don't go Naruto. Go into a Tornado Dragon, uh, summon a, a level 4 instead of the Chrono. And then you could go Tornado Dragon and, and two uh, Jackals. So his play was Naruto. His play was Naruto and the, uh, Jackal. By two Jackals and Tornado is way better. Uh, he Tornadoes the Iris. We slowly just keep going. When you face through interruptions, just Blitzkrieg your way through. That's the way to deal with interruptions. You can't just be a puss. You gotta just push your way through. So I look here. I'm like, I did a few takebacks here because uh, it's a tough situation. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to summon two monsters and attack over the two jackals and then do my plays afterwards. And with purple poisons, pop each of their uh, cards. Like purple poison in the deck with Electrum is unbelievably amazing. I, after I make uh, Pendulum's tier zero, uh, Konami's going to ban Chronograph and Poison and Electrum. So until then, we got to use all three of those cards as often as possible. So just like that, we attack over two jackals are done. Metatron adds back a wisdom for him. We keep, uh, we send a Chrono. Now we're going to keep looping a Purple Poison and an Electrum to pop the other two cards he has. And we're going to clear his entire board even though he had three interruptions. We're going to clear his entire board with three interruptions. Do you have any idea how many people would have scoop? Do you have any idea how many people would have scoop? And we don't even just clear the board. We go into a Firewall and a Griffin through three interruptions. I thought I won here. Then he just hits me with that Desires. Rest in, rip in pieces, guys. Like, it'll just, I got wrecked there. Then I thought, you know, it's all good. I'm just going to stop the Electrum. And then he summons a Janky Magician. Then he summons a Janky Magician. Then I'm like, God damn. That's that's it. I lost that one because the Janky will negate my Firewall. Then I bounce the Cerberus because I know the Janky would negate the Electrum thing. And then, boom, done. And now we go on to the next one. Uh, he won game two. Uh, but you already know I'm not losing two games in a row or a match. So I have to win this one, especially... Since I knew that this was going to be on my channel, I was doing a fan, and I told him, bro, this is going on the channel, win or lose. So I had to win. There's no excuses. So we open the hand here. Uh, it was decent. It was good. It's good. You're playing six ways to go into Sky Iris and six ways to go into Pendulum Call. So you're bound to draw them so often. They're, it's not like they're extremely broken cards, but they help with plays a bit. Uh, so we just keep going here. We send a hamster with Electrum. We didn't use our normal summon because we... Use Sky Iris to pop something to special the Chrono, so we can now use the Rescue Hamster. And Hamster in the deck, man, it's unreal because you don't use your normal summon, so you use Hamster to make a free Electrum, one card free Electrum, and then you add back Hamster to get a one card free Scales. Like, like it's actually amazing. It's a amazing pluses. Some people don't even play Hamster. I don't even know why. You guys are fried. That's like telling a Spiral deck not to play Spiral Agent. Like, why on earth would you not play one of the best pendulum cards in the game right now? And we add, add Hamster, the, the GOAT. Add, we had two Persona Dragons. And then here, it's simple, man. We stuck with the game plan. We stuck with the game plan, made three Electrums. We're going to put a Firewall in the middle. We're going to put a, one of the Personas we added off Hamster. We're going to Pendulum everything. Uh, met, having two Electrums is also good because you get, you get some value out of Harmonizing Magician. But having a Firewall in the middle just ensures that you're going to have a Firewall. For a joke, I show him how jokes would it be if I just summon those four and have four monster negates, but with no spell or trap negates, it would be hilarious. But uh, just in case he's, I know, I know, uh, he doesn't play evenly, but just in case he could have sided into one, so we need a vortex up just in case. We link everything into Griffin, summon out the vortex, and right here, what's amazing is there's no astrograph, but this board is better than my last format board with Ast with astrograph because it was just harbinger in place of Griffin. That's insane. That's actually insane. Having a board, this board's so consistent, guys. Like, if you make three electrums, you got this board. So it's amazingly consistent. And he's just gonna scoop because you actually can't play around this. It's impossible. 
And that's the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Check the links in the description below. I got all my other videos, as well as my boy's Instagram, the graphic designer. And if you guys uh, want to support your boy, I'll highly appreciate it. My Patreon's in the description below. I got some awesome rewards. Uh, for a $20 pledge, guys, I will make any deck you guys want amazing and post monthly videos on it. I'm super hyped for that because some people are going to tell me to make Ice Barriers amazing. And oh, I will. I will. I got some crazy ideas for bad decks. So I can't wait to see what people are going to give. And lastly, let me know in the comments below what video you guys want next. I know before we we're just doing polls on my Facebook, but I'm going to make it a lot simpler. Uh, whatever you guys write in the comments, I'll just randomly pick one and do it. And that's it. Have a great day, guys. Hope you enjoy the video. Peace.